What's up guys and welcome to episode 129 of Dropouts. The first picture of me ever taken was in the crib with a uh, Kentucky basketball hat right next to me. So I don't want to say I like it more than you do, but I do want to say... Like your coat. I, they, it, it feels good. I like it too. We're here with John Calipari, Coach John Calipari. Wildcats, um, right before this started, you whispered in my ear, we're getting number nine, and I thought that was amazing. Yeah. You see, you, I think you guaranteed it this year. Let me tell you, everybody's everywhere I go, number nine, coach, number <laughs> nine. And, uh, you know, we've had some really good teams. The, the whole thing in this stuff that I've done o over my lifetime is make sure your team has a chance. You don't know along the way what happens, but are you one of those teams that has a chance? And if you do every year – when you expect to do it, normally it won't happen. It's when you're out there and so you got dinged up along the way, yeah. and at the end you catch it. So let's hope that's this year's team. Well, I mean, you promised me. I, we got to start off controversial. Who would win um, in a game, uh, best of seven series, 2012 team or the 2014-15 team? Um, if you talk to Anthony Davis, he says one thing. Michael Kidd, they say one thing. National champs. <laughs> no, I understand. I <laughs> that's understand what they the <laughs> But again, you know, the 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 fourteen fifteen team was so unique. Um, we did not expect four guys to return who returned. So now we got ten guys that all deserve to play. We could have figured out playing seven or eight, yeah. and left three guys out, or we platoon. Now, people will say, "Well, so and so never started." Um, um, Devin never started. Uh, Tyler Eulis, they did. They started the second half yeah. of every game. So one team started the first half. The second, the other team started the second half. Um, I did not take a team out. If you held a team to six points, you stayed in. And if I went to sub, they didn't get six yet, Coach. Don't sub us. Leave <laughs> no. us in. But you think about the uniqueness of that group um, to accept – I'll give you an example. Carl Towns played 21 minutes a game and gave 19 minutes to Dakari Johnson. 19 minutes. Yeah. Wow. You had the guards accepting we're playing 20 minutes. And it goes both ways. The two guards that came back, we were in the final four that year. I remember. And they come back. So now, but I'll tell you, the, the only thing I would say is the 12 team will say what they're saying. And it was a good team. They were both really I good really, teams. I really, I do love your political answers. Because we, I mean, man, did we just And how about around. 2010? <laughs> I mean, 2010, if we don't go 0 for 15. Yeah. We could have won it that year. I mean, we. And then the COVID year, I, I don't see anybody stopping Maxi and, and Yeah, quickly. and I, and, and here's what, you know, they, they want to talk about Maxi, And I kept telling everybody, you're nuts. This kid is a top 10 pick easy. We don't go to the NCAA tournament. Do you know what happened his last college game? Do you know what how was many? his stats? Well, how many was it? What was his stats that game against Florida? He was one for 12, and he had six turnovers. That's the last thing every pro team saw. And, I, and they said, well, he can't shoot. I said, dude, he can shoot. It was percentages and all this. I if think he's we the were second the, best player on the 76ers. Yeah, well, I know, bold he claim, is, I think he, he is. is uh, in my mind, he's going to be an all-star at some point. And, and, but he's a competitor. He's fast. He's a downhill runner. Um, you know, and I, I told everybody, you're going to regret passing on him. And then you had quickly who was that way. I yeah. mean, you know, Nick Richards, who's doing great in Charlotte, was on that team. Um, Ashton Hagens right now is in the G League getting triple doubles. Yeah. Like he came back ready to go. Um, and when, was, I mean, Wenyon's doing incredible. When, Wenyon's getting minutes yeah. and doing good. No, I've, I've been uh, – the Shea has really just taken over this year. I do want to play a little game. So we're going to – there's this there's this game going on social media right now where you draft different things. So we're both going to pick – we're going to go down the line. I'm going to draft a player. You're going to draft a player. And then we're going to have a little debate on which five would beat which five. So I'm going to go first, obviously, because – Just my – the guys that I've coached over my lifetime? Yeah, yeah. Just – okay, okay, okay. I'm going to go first because I'm a more of go a Kentucky ahead. fan for life, unlike you. Go ahead. <laughs> um, I'm going to go Anthony Davis with right. my number one pick. And, and I'll go uh, Derek Rose. Okay. Ooh, I'm going to go John Wall. Okay. Because we're going at their I'll peaks. I'll go Marcus Camby. Okay. okay. I'm going to go um, – <laughs> I'm going to go Devin Booker. Um, Carl Towns. Okay, that was a good pick. That was a – it was a sneaky pick. I thought you were going to... Okay, I would probably... 
I'm gonna go Cousins at his at his top. Yeah, he was. Yeah, he was really you remember good. him? He was yeah. really good. Um, you have to go Shea That's Alexander. A, he's doing pretty good. That's a great pick, but I feel like John Wall in his peak. I mean, he's coming into his peak, but John Wall, right? I mean, was, at his was faster. Okay, I, uh, I got you on the last one. No, so I know you do. You want. I know. <laughs> I like the. I'm confidence. gonna go. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go guards. I'm gonna go Murray. Uh, that's who I would have taken. Yeah. So, but Ooh. but again, Michael Kidd Gilchrist is who I take, and he was like the glue. Yeah. Ended up taking the fifth most shots. Anthony took the fourth most shots. Did everything he could. All he cared about is winning. So if you're putting a team together that you want to win, Michael's got to be on the team. He may not have to be your first pick, but he's got to be on that mix. And and uh, Derrick Rose. Um, Understand now, he was the MVP of the NBA in his third season. Mm -hmm. It's not bad. And he got hurt. Um, You talk about Marcus Camby leading a program to a final four. Heard of it, yeah. Final four. It's a good place to be. (laughs) Have you been to Massachusetts? (laughs) So he was at UMass doing that. How many guys have dragged a team and a school and a program like Camby did. Yeah. And he did not – it took him a couple of years to get where he was physically and emotionally ready to do that. But, I, you know, picking like that, I've got so many players that played for me that did so much for the programs where I coached. Uh, talked to Joey Dorsey the other day. Um, he was one that guarded his man and two others. At Memphis. He didn't guard his man and one other. He guarded two others. They said he just went to a game. He got a standing ovation there. I mean, those guys taking that team. If he doesn't foul out in the national championship game, because he fouled out and didn't play the overtime, I think the finish would have been different. I would have hoped so. Um, but Chris Douglas, buckets. I yeah. mean, I've coached some really – Lou Rowe was a terrific player. I mean, I've coached – I've been blessed. The parents have entrusted me with their kids – you know, I was hard on kids. Joey talked about how hard I was, but he appreciates it now. Derek Rose told his his uh, buddies in Chicago. I came in and he sat with me, and one of his buddies said, "You know, he called you the devil until about January that year." He said, "I co- I play for the devil," <laughs> and and he said it based on the fact holding him accountable, holding him to a high standard, not being mean and cussing and throwing. I don't do that, mm-hmm. but you hold him to a high standard. What's acceptable and what's not. Um, but I, I've been blessed. My best players have always been good guys. So when you can coach an Anthony Davis hard and a, a, a Marcus, a DeMarcus Cousins or an Eric Bledsoe, or you can coach um, different guys along the way, whether it be Jamal Murray, uh, whether it be the group, the, the platoon group, which I hope I never have to do it again. But I only did it because it was for the kids. Yeah. And then yeah. we started winning, and I said, stick with it. Just let's ride it out. Are egos kind of hard? Who wins? The, the, my team won. Oh, my team 100. No, no, no. Go ahead. Would You're you, fine. You lost. <laughs> Jared. You lost. I know you don't. Um, I feel like he knows his players better. Go, I right. feel like he thinks he knows his players, but I'm a Kentucky fan for my entire life. You see how I would. Anyway. Uh, he, he's, you know, he's spending all the time with them. You know, he's coaching them at the ins and outs. Jared, sit over there. I'm so okay. sorry that he's even here. <laughs> okay, obviously, if there was an all-Kentucky team – in the NBA, they're winning the championship very easily. Wow, that's I'm I'm going to tell you, there's so many good players in the NBA. I no, would no, say I would love to see a team of Kentucky players. The problem is that's what I've been. Hearing. Only five can start. <laughs> now you got to have five coming off the bench or four, whatever it is. And well, Booker I, won't do it because he was already he, mad for he, not starting. He, here. Oh, he was mad. He's he's still mad. You know, he called me or texted me on his what would have been his fourth year senior night. And he texted me and said, "Would you have started me tonight?" That's hilarious. You know, I always start seniors. <laughs> no, this. So I know a couple of NBA players, and they've been giving me whispers that um, you're you're kind of finagling contracts right now, where everyone's going to be free agent at the same time, and then you go, and then they all go to the same team. Is nah, that still true? No, I would say I, no and too, I, and I would say no. Not only that, yeah. I don't think they'd want to play for me. They think I'd yeah. be the same guy I was. You know, you know, and I, I'll tell you what's amazing in this. The guys that you've held to the highest standard, the guys that you've been hard on, appreciate you more than guys that you held to a high standard but have broken through. And, you know, they respect and, and I think they really appreciate, yeah. but not like those other guys. Um, and, and it's amazing to me 
that, you know, we've done this saying, you know what, we're not going to sacrifice what we do for kids. Now, here's the one thing, you know, you, you started to bring up about egos and stuff. If you come here, you're going to be part of an unbelievable group. And I tell kids, if you walk in the gym and you're by far the best player in the gym, you're in the wrong gym. You want to go in a gym where there's a bunch of really good players and you got to fight your way through. You got to figure out your niche. It's not going to be given. You got to take what you want. That's why our kids go to that league and do well. I mean, they've made over $4 billion in contracts and not endorsements and all that. We're not even talking overseas. We've probably got 15 guys that have been overseas, but it's over 50. But they learn to fight. Here's the one thing John Wall. A guard would go up to him and say, I'm thinking about Kentucky. What are you thinking? He'd say, can you get your own shot? Because he's not running plays for you. Mm -hmm. Well, guess what? If you're up in that league, they're not running plays for you. you got to go figure out the principles of playing. How do I put my nose in there? And How do I take minutes from this guy? How do I play on the next play? You think about playing here. Every game is someone else's Super Bowl. Every – Everyone, they have nothing to lose. We got to play that way. You know how hard that is when you're at Kentucky, where everybody wants you to win by 20 every single game? And if you don't win by 20, what's wrong? The defense stinks. The offense stinks. We should shoot more threes, less threes. Why can't we make free throws? We don't pass to each other. We dribble. Every game, the other team has nothing to lose. We now, I have to convince us we have nothing to lose. If you play this like it's life and death, you die a lot. Yeah. yeah. So you can't. You got to go on to the next play. You can't make it. I got to hit the lottery. <laughs> I, I, I told him this the other day. I got to hit the lottery. I got, you ain't hitting the lottery. You know, it's the lottery. The guy that walks in, I need some pack of cigs over. The, what? How much is it today? Here, take <laughs> yeah. my two. That dude wins. Yeah. That's who wins. And you got to be like, this stuff matters, but it doesn't matter. I'm going to play like I have nothing to lose. That's when players have fun. But it's hard here. You know, social media has made it even tougher. I mean, I don't mind them attacking me. I'm, you know, that's who I am. I've done this a long time. Fine. You know what I say? They say, but I, I agree with you. So can we move on now? <laughs> so, but to do it with a young person that's 19 or 20, Come on, could you imagine if you're just getting slammed and someone has it in for you and now they're on the social media and every week they're trying to, I mean, for the kids, I told them the other day too, I respect what you go through. Here's the other thing. I got a coaching staff. When you guys played, who would you talk to? One guy said, my dad. There's no one else. Yeah. Who, you have a bunch of people in you. Well, woo. Now you get AAU assistants and workouts and agents and the assistant agent and the high school coach and this guy and friends and fa uncle. Oh, he knows how to play and coach. <laughs> I mean, so now here are these guys having to deal with that when none of us that are 40 or older, we never dealt with that. Mm -hmm. So they've got to, you know, maneuver. Like I said, I respect players what they have to do now. Oh, yeah. And uh, you have one bad game every you think the world's ending. Yeah. I mean, every comment's about you, every, I mean, it's a lot to go through. Not to say I'm even in the same realm as what they go through, but, you know, you have to quantify the hate. It's like, okay, there's a certain number of people who just aren't going to be happy with things. Let's move on and let's play some basketball. And I, I used to tell my daughters when they were uh, uh, six and three, we'd be over the skating rink and on Wednesdays and when I was at UMass, we'd go to the skating rink and everybody would come up to me was so complimentary. And yeah. You're the best coach we've ever, you're the best. So I had to finally tell him, look, not everybody loves your dad. <laughs> I want you to know it is not the case. Uh, they know that now. Back then they weren't so sure. It's, it's hilarious. I, I think, no, I kind of want to know what happened with this recru recruiting cycle. Were you just annoyed by everybody? And you were like, might as well get everybody, you know? Let's just, I mean, I, I, want, I want all the best players and I think I'm going to go get them just because... I can. Every Do you year, call up Kansas and no, kind of tell them that? No, what, here, here's what it is for us. There, there are times where I'll pass on guys because they're not the right mix. 
There are other like a Jared, times, a Jared type. Yeah, Jared. Yeah, he yeah, wants we, to shoot every ball. He yeah, doesn't yeah, care yeah. about anybody Total else. He ball hog. refused to play defense, looking oh. in the stands, talking to his family during the game, yeah. stuff mm -hmm. like that. Okay. But the other side of it is there's kids that don't want to come here because they want to be told they're the center. You're taking yeah. all the shots. Look, there are three of the top ten leading scorers in the NBA right now. Who are they? You guys are basketball bennies. Who are they? Who are the top leading scorers right ten. now? Uh, Embiid, KD, um, AD. Um, he's he's ten. He's number ten. Yeah, where's Especially, Devin? Oh, Devin, he's in there. Yeah, Devin. Okay, how about Shea? Three of the top ten played for me. Do you know how many shots they took a game when they played here? Twelve. Yeah. <laughs> and Anthony Davis, ten. what was the last game he couldn't make a shot? He's like, I'm just going to play for defense. Ten. Yeah. He was one for ten. Couldn't make a shot. Said, I'll do everything else. I'll block shots. I'm going to defend him and rebound. So, is it you want to go somewhere to make shoot all the balls and the ego of that? Or do you want to go somewhere where you're going to fight and be prepared? And look, some guys get beat by other guys. Shea Alexander didn't start his first 10 games. I called him in and I said, look, I know we've won four in a row, so you deserve to start. He said, coach, stop. I trust you. Whatever you decide, I'm good with. Well, when he started, then all of a sudden he's a lottery pick. He wasn't when he came here. No one, you know, but all of a sudden they see him in this environment do that. Was that one quickly. of your players that surprised you the most as far as their he had a He had a, a slow release. Yeah. He, he, and then he really, it was a slower release. And I said, kid, they can't, you, you got to have a smooth, Yeah, you got to, you know, and he, but he was in the gym. He was in the weight room. He knew he was skinny. Mom was an Olympic runner, track star. So you talk about a long Body, like he kid. did Florio back in the day, and yeah, well, he was, yeah, but this different, yeah, yeah EJ's yeah. a great kid, but he wasn't a player. This guy was, no, he I'm may have been yeah. on that team too, by the way. But here's a kid that took what he wanted. Uh, we talk about Emmanuel quickly, Emmanuel didn't start the beginning of his sophomore year, and by the end, he's player of the year in our league. Well, what makes him fight through? And another guy say, Well, you know, this is B, I, I should be doing. It, it takes a special, you know, toughness. And if you don't have that toughness here, one, it's hard for us to win, but two, it's hard for you to make it. Mm -hmm. And that's why everything we do, there's a result. Somebody wins, somebody loses. Do you care about winning? Well, figure it out. Uh, see it and fix it. I can't tell you exactly, but you got to win. F dive on the floor. Take a charge. But, again, my wife will say to me at the – you know, wow, we got a great group of kids. And she says it, and then there are sometimes, I never thought I could say they'd get better, but this group and that group, and, you know, it, it's funny. Joey Dorsey reminded me, my wife used to be the one to say, would you stop yelling at Joey? <laughs> there are other players you can yell at. Stop yelling at him. He remembers it to this day. I mean, he told me, yeah, tell Mrs. Cow I still appreciate her protecting how, me. How did DeMarcus Cousins handle the yelling back in the day? He just seems like such a, like a type that is is down for the cause. If we're going to argue a little bit, he was absolutely no issues. Yeah. The only thing he he had to test. My favorite. He had to test how far he could go. So the first day, and I tell this story. He gets mad, but it's a true story. <laughs> we had a, a sprinting. You had to sprint certain number, and if you didn't do it, you didn't practice. Mm. So we started running. The first day, he went and sat against the wall after like five liners, and he said. My feet are on fire. My feet are on fire. I can't make it. I said, all right, you're good. Let's all run. And I walked over to him and I said, I want you to know, if you can't make these runs, you will never start here. Now, I'll play you. If you play good, you'll play 25, 30. If not, you'll play five minutes. But you will never start here if you can't the next day. Sounds he like he finished it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. He oh, made it. Probably a little easier, he made too. It. And so his mother came up. She was a nurse. And he had a brother, sister, his grandmother, and they were moving here well, within a month, three weeks. I see the van outside these doors here. Miss Cuz, what's happening? We're good. We're going back to Alabama. And I said, why do you say that? He respects you, wow. and you're not afraid of him. So, so I don't need to be here. For, to them and trust in, you with a child. Yes, yeah, well, so. and, and, you know, just because someone's 6'11", and they're huge, doesn't mean they're a grown man. Yeah. I yeah. mean... You know, he and I, we had some hard hearts. You, you know, you talk, I get emotional doing games and I'll get on guys, but you sit down here and, 
you know, he knew what was expected and what I needed him to do. There were times, you know, he was in here with his head down. But it was, you know, I can remember John Wall coming into the office, walks in down at Rupp and says, uh, Coach, I love you. <laughs> After a game, I love you, Coach. What did you do? <laughs> what did you just do? Well, what he did was he told him, I'm not having fun. Well, because they wouldn't guard him. Yeah. They were running under the basket, and now the game got hard. Uh-huh. Now all of a sudden, well, do I shoot all the balls and I go one for nine? I want to run and shoot a layup. No, there's three guys under there. And I, I laughed at him, and I thought, I heard what you said. And I said, well, we got to get better with your pull-up. We got to get in the gym. Um, but like I said, I have been absolutely blessed that my best players – we're all really good guys, and I could coach them. If you can't coach your best player, you're not coaching your team. No. I mean, I think the same thing about this year's team. I just see something really special. And the one who entices me the most, if you had to guess about this year's team? You? Yeah. Mm, I would say um, maybe Chris Livingston. Thierro. I think that kid is going to be He's got a chance. Insane. He, and here's, here's what's great. I told him this the other day, and he laughed. If you watched him in practice – I'm not disrespecting him. You'd say, yeah. no, nah, he's not ready. But he goes in the game, no, and every- he's different. <laughs> I told him, I said, you in practice, you do stuff that you don't build my confidence, <laughs> that I don't think I can put you in. And then you go into a game, he's a downhill runner, he's physical. Makes good decisions. His dad, when he played for me, was 6'9". This kid came to camp, he was 5'8". I'm like, what the hell happened to your kid? <laughs> so yeah. And all of a sudden, he said, I want to play for you someday. He's a sophomore, he's... You know, still under six foot. And then all of a sudden he grew to six four, six five, nine, six seven. I think he's gonna be six nine. And my thing to him is he will impact college basketball as much as anyone when he's ready to step in there and play. And it might be this year. Well it it all plays out. We had guys play really well early. Then all of a sudden they're not playing as well. All right. What does that mentally do? Can you fight through it? Can you go on to the next play? Or does that bad play lead you to three weeks of bad play? Well, this this early on in the season, are you thinking, I need to get my best lineups in? Or it's like, I, I know these play guys are playing well. I'm going to take them out anyway to get everybody juicing a little bit to see who's going to mesh. It's, it, we're still at the point where you got to figure it out. Yeah. So you got to play people. And the, the one thing I try to do, I want everyone to get it in the first half. So if I need them in the second half, I feel comfortable playing them. Not because, well, they make a mistake. It has nothing to do with that. What it is, is if they haven't played and I put them in a tough spot and they fail, that's on me. And that kid gets crushed. I'm not going to do it. I put him in in the first half. All right, he's ready to go if if we need him in the second half. Um, You know, we've, the last game, we're up 15 and a guy broke down twice. I had to take him out. You won't yeah. believe this. We got to win the game. No, I didn't know that. <laughs> and so now you take them out. Look, kid, I love you. You get over it. We'll win the game, and I'll hug you after the game. But that's still when you're talking about kids that played every minute, you know, shot when they wanted to, did what they wanted to do. Now they come here, and they're part of this. And I told you the guys that took 12 shots. A game, you're not taking 25 shots a game here. If Anthony couldn't do it, I doubt you're going to be able to. Well, and I, and I say this, Anthony – he was so unique and so talented. He's now playing the way I thought he would play. Yeah. And but injuries happened to Derrick Rose. You get hurt now. It takes you time to get back to where you were. But it looks like Anthony right now is playing out of his mind. Oh, and it it feels good. And that uh, we live in LA, so we can go watch him, and it feels good. But uh, talking about this year's team and. And because I think a lot of contention in Twitter, you know, everybody, there's does some diehard fans that say some things sometimes, but I think at times you'll take out Reeves, even though he's got the flamethrower attached to his right hand. Um, I think I always thought that was to get more people in so we can get a good gel rather than we know he can go you're get You're not going to play anybody 40 minutes, not yeah. the way we play. Mm-hmm. So if you're playing 30, 28 to 30 minutes a game, that's about the max. Oscar at times, he's not human. Okay. <laughs> he's like, He's just different. Again. So he may play more, but guys that are playing 30 to 28, 29, 30, 31 minutes, and he is. Yeah. Well, we want him to play 46 minutes. There's only 40 <laughs> minutes in the game. Yeah, they're, they're going to get mad. Okay, so, but it also, I want to see 
Chris in there. I want to see CJ in there. I'd like to have two of them making shots, yeah. not just one. And so, yeah, but at the end of the day, it's who's in the game at the end. Now, we've missed free throws. We missed them last year at the end. We missed them in the Michigan State game. You can go and say, well, you should have done this, and it should have been this. You should have done that. You should have called a timeout. You should have. Okay, now, what's the one thing there's not strategy to? He's not involved, and I'm not involved. A free throw. Are you guarded? Yeah, yeah not guarded. So it's you standing there. You make those two, we win the game. It's a front end one on one, and you miss, and they score. They foul us again. You miss. We can talk what we want, and part of that is that grit that you got to have. My teams historically, when it counts, have made free throws, and yeah. this team will grow into that. But I'm telling you, you got to miss them some, and understand that I'm going to be okay, that I can move on. I think that's why your players done. do so well in the NBA, because honestly, I think there's more pressure here at times especially with the stadium, the fan base, that when they get there, I think a lot of them go, I mean, this is different pace, but I've felt, I've felt these jitters. Well, the other one is after the game's over, there's 15 cameras, there's 50 media yeah. members, 60. And uh, I can't remember what player it was. During the, and they said, are you amazed by all the media? He said, no, I played at Kentucky. I <laughs> no, mean, exactly. That, no. And that brings, there's good and bad in that. Mm -hmm. And that's why, you know, it's I, I get questioned, they get questioned. You have people that maybe not our fans, and it's a great thing to jump on, and I'm a fan, and I can't stand this and this and this, and try to row up our people, and that's why I don't pay any attention to it. I literally don't. And if there's something I have to deal with, our people will tell me, look, this is, you need probably need to deal with this, and I'll deal with it. But you know what? You see that sign on my wall? Did you see it up there? It says, coach your team. None of the other stuff matters. Coach your team. Mm -hmm. That's what That's I need to priority. do. No, I yes. think a lot of freshmen, it's it's also maturity of, of building into being in the spotlight. But one guy I've been really impressed with this year, every time I see him step on the court, he looks like a veteran is Casey Wallace. He just... He's, oof, he's good. He's better than I thought. I saw him go against uh, Shaden. Yeah. Which is where I was watching Shaden, and I said, well, let me see this kid. Everybody's telling me. Oof. And That's when I called his coach and said, look, this kid here is... And he can play whatever position. I'll just give you one thing. I went to him. He's shooting 50% from the three. Not bad. So I said to him, look, we got to create some more opportunities for you. He said, coach, just stop. I've never had plays run for me. I just go get the baskets I need to get. But we need to open up the floor a little bit to get him to drive. But he's missed layups. You know, it's yeah. he, well, just let him go do this. Well, again, we're trying to win. And the greatest thing when you're coaching, you're in there with them every day. Yeah. Now, the only thing is, we talked about a do. If you're in there with the do, you're not yeah. saying no. them that you're saying, nah, nah, nah. But he goes in the game and he performs. I'm just happy Chris is getting more comfortable playing. And it isn't that you'll get taken out if the game's on the line. And you're breaking down. I, it's, we'll worry about ego later. But you're not coming out because of missed shots. Mm -hmm. So anybody that it's knows that they play, it, it's, yeah. A or effort. you got, like, Ugana. Two balls jerked from him yesterday. Yeah. You're out. But also, that I mean. It ain't about a missed shot. It ain't about a skill. That dude outworked you for that ball, uh -huh. then you're out. And I'll try somebody else. What, or go get the ball. When did you get excited about him? I mean, because obviously you thought he'd be a project. He comes in. He's, he's blocking more shots than than women have blocked me in my life and it's yeah. it's wonderful <laughs> yeah he's uh he's like in the top 20 in block shots and i and he's hardly like, yeah. played him <laughs> and that's why i said he's got to be the first big off the bench we got to go with it but yesterday's the first time he got manhandled usually he's above it mm -hmm. and he'll go get the ball mm -hmm. and he'll block it but he made a basket he got a block but he got two balls and and you're playing with oscar do they jerk balls from oscar no, it so seems like he holds you leave in? <laughs> yeah. Would you leave in the him national or, player yeah, of the year? I mean, or, you okay. just, you know, you just, <laughs> you're going to get minutes if you're Ugana and even Lance if Ugana's not getting it done, but you understand who's sitting there. And so you got to perform. Yeah, there's added pressure that I got to go get it done or he's going to play the other. Yeah, because we're trying to win. How do you keep that camaraderie with the team, though, so they don't get volatile towards each other knowing he's coming in but look here here's the hard thing and this is in the nba 
before they worry about winning, they worry about establishing who they are as a player, and then they're doing all the stuff. Um, I will tell you that uh, part of it's the recruiting process. You're recruiting players that know each other, that understand what this is and what it isn't. I'm not promising you'll start how many shots that we're running plays. You got to earn it here. You got to take somebody's minutes. But I've started more freshmen than anyone in the country. And let me explain by four times. If you're good enough as a freshman, you'll play. If you played 30 minutes and got 10, 12 shots a game and you're in the G League, I mean, yeah. the other guys that did it are not in the G League. Mm -hmm. So you got to go and understand at the end of the day, my job is to get you to fight, be tough, understand that it's going to be hard. Um, you know, I always laugh, and not, I'm not saying here, but a kid will say, I'm, I'm going to go to the NBA because you got this guy coming in and that guy. Oh, so you'd rather compete <laughs> against NBA players you'd than rather an 18-year-old. An okay. <laughs> 18, 18 now you say, you need to go to the NBA. <laughs> if I were a coach, and, you know, mo our guys, you know, in most cases, I would encourage – I'll also tell kids I'm not sure. You better make sure, but it's all good. But listen, I gotta go. No, I know. Recruit, yeah. Okay. Well, what, you one guys I did want to thank you what, what really quick for just for everything you've done with like, I like the flood. Coat too, by the way. I'm gonna give it to you, but probably not um, for the <laughs> for the flood efforts and, and what you did with the coal miner the other day and the Jefferson Award and, and everything like that. So that's 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 great. I just want to commemorate you. How on about helping. it's a year ago that the tornadoes yeah. yesterday. Yesterday was wow. the, a year ago the tornado. But you are one of the first people always to step up when the state needs appreciate something. That. My family's from, so I appreciate it, sir. Appreciate it. And uh, I thank, thank you. you. How did you guys? Like, have anybody listened to you or follow you? What What do you do? <laughs> oh, it's a good question. This is our first time. Oh, this yeah, is yeah, the yeah. first show? Yeah, yeah, we first just put up ever. a fake so resume. you should have 10 million after yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's what we're hoping for. All right, thank you, guys. Thanks. Coach Cal, this is amazing. Thank Thanks. you. Thanks. Perfect. Appreciate it. Thank you. You see Drake's shoes back there? No, I, you don't think I didn't take a picture of him? All right, we just had Cal on. Now now we got Severe Wheeler, a Thiero. Um, Cal said, I said, hey, Cal, what, which two of your players are the worst with women? So he, he had me bring you two on him. Uh, do you guys want to refute that by any chance? Or? I have a girlfriend, so I guess that's... Uh, well, he, he, said, he said it doesn't look good, and that's Cal. Cal. I want to see Cal's woman prior to his wife then. Hey, okay, okay. He said prior to his wife. You have to be careful. What about you, Thierro? Is it, is it true what he said about you? Yeah, he's pretty... He's, uh, that's pretty true about me. Oh, that's pretty accurate. I like that he's pretty honest. Um, I just wanted to come on and ask a couple questions. So I don't. do you guys have sisters? I do. Do you have a sister? I have three. Okay. As well. Who on the team would you not want to date your sister? My teammates. No, come on. The most. Yeah, my teammates are all great guys. But? I wouldn't let them date my sister just because <laughs> it's my sisters. But, like, if I had someone who was close to me like a sister, then they, they can date them. Okay, no, all but right, the, the, you get, this isn't a political thing. No, you got to answer not. the question. My, my teammates are great men. Okay, all of them? All of them. Okay, but who the least would you want to date your sister? I mean, they're this is your sister good. we're talking they're all, about. They're all, they're all great. Even the dude? <laughs> <laughs> Even the dude. He's the safest one because he's the ugliest. Oh, okay, okay, okay. A dude, what do you think about <laughs> That's that? That's not true. <laughs> Who's the ugliest on the team, then? Is it Severe? Whoa. That's just what he was thinking. I saw nah, it. He was thinking, he thinking uh, C-ball and Lugo. <laughs> Lugo, yeah. <laughs> uh, Diero, what, who would you want to date your sister the least? Uh, like what Sa said, I think Don't everyone get on the goodness team is great gracious. guys. It's just there's someone like a sister to me, like what he said, they could get with her. Okay, can I ask another question where you guys won't be like, uh, well, basically all my yeah. guys on the team. Who who on the team do you think would have the worst game? Not basketball with oh with women. Yeah, yeah, C ball. I've seen everyone in action, but Chris. C ball. He's, he's a little. It's been a little tough recently. Yeah. Any any like pickup lines? Maybe you could give him. I think pickup lines are overrated, bro. <laughs> How'd you get your woman? See, I'm him. You feel me? Okay. Okay. I've been. Well, that's that wasn't how. This. It definitely was. It started. It was just like social media. I guess. Uh, Final answer. You slut. You slut in the nope, DMs. Nope. 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 <laughs> <laughs> she spammed my. No. Profile. You. No. 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 It sounds like you commented a little bit. Like, I please got, talk to me. LOL. I just sent you a DM. Lol. That's something you would do probably. No. Right? You don't know me like that. You don't know me either, so you can't assume. Okay. Fair. That's fair. <laughs> <laughs> and you think you're gonna stay with your girl rather than ever dating Thiero? Hundred <laughs> percent. Okay, okay. I just want to know <laughs> who's the goofiest on the team. Like, who's the corniest? You're like, come on. What are we talking about? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Don't get political. All of my players are actually really great, and we all have a great camaraderie of humor and blah blah blah. We actually do. Don't do it. I feel like microphones are just an option for you guys. <laughs> Thiero's like this. 
Yeah, one time I was. <laughs> nah, it's a fact. We all were pretty funny. You have to come in the locker room, be a fly on the wall. Uh, I I got recruited, but they I didn't want to take over your spot. I heard you, you know, you're fighting for some playing time. I didn't want to yeah. take over that because I'm I am a hooper. Three points my entire uh, middle school career, <laughs> so it felt really good. Uh, and one and a free throw. That's Not nice. a big deal. Yeah, That's I know nice. it's nice. I'm probably better than you'll ever be. All right, guys, thank you so much for coming on. Appreciate you. I appreciate you. Thank you for having us. Thank you for hey. I liked you being here. This guy, he's talking some wild stuff. I apologize. <laughs> All right, thank you guys. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Okay, now we're here with uh, Brennan, uh, Canadian or whatever, and then we got <laughs> CJ Frederick. Um, anyway, we just had a do Thiero, and we had Severe Wheeler in here, and I said, "All right, go out there and find find the two guys who have the least game on on the team." And they said they both said you guys. Um, so talk about bowling. No, they were talking. I know they weren't talking about basketball. Yeah, they were talking about bowling. They were bowling. Uh, uh, hilariously enough, they were talking about with women. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Why do you guys think you're so bad? Is it do they scare you? It's probably because we both have girlfriends. Oh, dude, what is up with this team, man? How'd you get them? Here we go. Did you slide in a DM? Be honest. Mine's on a women's team, so I oh, she, call her every day. Okay. In the training room. I think you see Fred. You, you slid the DM. But like I, I see. <laughs> you know what I mean. <laughs> so you you did right. do the slide. I mean, you're just trying to create. NBA athletic children, it right. sounds like. That's this sounds it sounds like a financial yeah. deal with you. That's disgusting. Yeah. And then Canada, what about you? You're currently in love? Yeah, I'm in love. Man. Sounds like a swipe high school sweetheart based on your blue yeah, eyes. Yeah, no, yeah, no, no, no. You found her recently? Oh, what is it? How many do you have? Just one? Yeah, just one. Just okay, one. good, good. So if you said, I got like six. No, he didn't say that. <laughs> <laughs> um, but, uh, okay, how long have you guys been together? Uh, not like super long. Like. I don't really know the Tom table. Probably. Oh, she's going to hate that. All right. Uh, no worries there. Feel free to. This is going to be the last time you guys are together. Okay. Uh, do you guys have sisters? I'm only child. That makes sense. I can see in your eyes. Yeah, yourself? I'm only child. Yeah, also makes sense. Okay. Um, now, let's say you had sisters. Who on the team would you least want to date your sister? I'm I got a sister. Okay, good I one. I just didn't know where that <laughs> Thank was going to go, so I went with no sister. Okay, good. Yeah, I wasn't going to you know, hit on her. <laughs> How old's your sister, though? 26. What's up? Um, <laughs> um, no, but who who on the team would you least want to date your sister? Because one of them said you. What? I know. I feel like I'd be the. Um, no, no, one of you guys. I'm not going to reveal who. I'm going to say Reem. Who? Kareem. Kareem. Mm -hmm. Okay. I wouldn't. I would definitely say I don't want Oscar. Why is that? I'm around him enough at basketball. Like I don't need. I yeah. don't need any more. <laughs> you know what I mean? You need the knock on a bedroom door, yeah. and, you know. <laughs> You're like, is that the that. National Player of the Year in there? Right, I don't need With my that. sister? Come yeah. on. Okay, well, that's good to hear. That's good to hear. Um, I was at the game yesterday, and I, I waved at uh, both of you, and neither one of you guys looked in my direction. I even said, I even said, hey, guys, and not, neither of you said anything, so I was just wondering what happened there. I don't know. To be honest, I didn't hear it. I did one of I these. I did. I said, I said, hey, guys. I did, like, kind of silent because I didn't want to be rude, but you guys. I didn't hear it. Both looked at me. That's on me. Yeah, I'm sorry. And then you that. both, well, no, I, I, think it was, I think it was Canada. He looked my way and said, you ain't got it. <laughs> That's and I don't, yeah, I don't even know what that means. What does that mean? And then he pulled up a picture of his girlfriend. He said, you can never. I thought it was just a little straightforward. <laughs> okay, well, um, anything you guys want to talk about? I mean, you guys have your own podcast. We do. Let's chop it up. We've only had like two episodes. <laughs> yeah, so <laughs> we, thought, we thought it was going to be sweet and easy, but we didn't really f realize in the middle of a season it was going to be tough. Oh, yeah. You forgot about like playing games and right. like practicing. Right. Yeah. So we're trying, to get, we're trying to get a third episode rolling. <laughs> Try to get the third one when was the last one? Shoot, uh, it's been a couple, a couple weeks. weeks. <laughs> okay, and the great thing about podcasting, if you miss consistency, people love it. Being a such a consistent shooter, you would think you'd get your podcast in on time. You would think. We're struggling. <laughs> yeah. We're struggling. Why did you guys start to do a podcast together? You know, I just like BSing and talking, and I'm thinking of going into broadcasting. So some people were like, hey, you should start your own podcast. And me and Brennan live together, so I was like, hey. Uh, what does he like as a roommate? He's a, good, he's a good roommate. Well, no, uh, who was it? Ah, Severe Wheeler. He came up to me. He's like, yeah, I, I go in there. I go into CJ's and, and Brennan's room and just to hang out sometimes at night. And they're, they're always sleeping in the same bed. I just thought it was a little strange. And he's like, Brennan refuses to not be the little spoon. Why do you like to be the big spoon uh, to Brennan? I mean, this is just solely... He just says his opinion. You know what I mean? That's what he likes. Yeah. <laughs> he said it's because you've got a booty that won't quit. But either way. All right, guys. Thank you so much. Moses is going to get cut out for um, uh, university reasons. <laughs> we were not like this with Coach Cal, were we? You guys go to UK? Uh, out I, of college? I got in, but I decided to go to LA instead and make my mom I'm sad. I'm guessing you're both out of college. What do you, why is that your guess? We don't look educated? You guys look older. Oh, I thought you said look uneducated. No, no, no. I okay. Didn't say that. But good job, guys, at being on a basketball team. I've been meaning to tell you guys that. Appreciate it.
And it's if, been tough. If you guys play basketball again, let me know. I'll watch. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> Hello, and welcome back. Now we're here with uh, Grant and uh, Mr. Walker Horn. Grant Dubsenire. Dubbyshire. Darbyshire. Darbyshire. Yep. Nailed it. You guys walked on to the University of Kentucky. I talked to Coach Cal today, and he said, next game, you're starting. That's just what he said. I, I didn't even – that's just what he said. So who do you guys think you're better than on the team to kind of start <laughs> over them? Do you guys have sisters? I do. You have a sister? Yeah, I do. Okay, who on the team would you least want to date your sister? I, <laughs> some of your guys – one of right your guys' names was said by the other people that were in here. Didn't no want today? way. Yeah. No, there's no way that's true for me. I'm, I'm just, I'm not going to say no who it was said, but it's. That's tough. We got a lot of good kids, though. Oh, my let, gosh. No. All right, Severe me. Wheeler. I, <laughs> that's exactly what he said. I, I already I got, got a name in mind. Go for it. Yeah, go for it. Adu. Why, why is that? I don't know. He's just, a dude's just different. A dude, I mean, he came in the here. He said, he said, I'm, hi. no, that was Severe. He said, that, I'm him. Yeah. That was your Severe Reem. Bro, Brennan Canada, opinions? Great dude. Yeah, oh, come guy. on. Good guy, good player. Okay. Yeah, right. Did you get put you guys off that last name's Canada just because we're Americans? I've never really thought about yeah, that. It's, no, it's kind of gross, huh? That. It's like we love, like, it's like you don't like America as much as us or something. I, I told, I, I, to I asked him, I was like, what do you do on 4th of July? He said, I've never celebrated it <laughs> in my entire life. He looks at me, he goes, fake holiday. Wow. Yeah, I thought it was crazy. Wow. What do you think about that? I don't know. I'm going to have to talk to I think we that. fight him. That's, that's, that's crazy. Walker, I think you go in with the right hook. Uh-huh. I'm coming in with a, a, a slick jab. Okay. You look like you've wrestled in your life. Yeah. <laughs> Why you say? He's the strongest dude on the team. Someone, uh, I think Severe called you a meathead. That's just that's not accurate at all. Why is it accurate? No. I think the first conversation we ever had together, you said I lift. So so no. far, it's accurate. <laughs> you remember that? Definitely, definitely something <laughs> that probably was said. Yes. I lift. Can you um, guys both look down the main camera really quick yeah. and guarantee number nine for us this year? That'd be great. Go ahead, G. <laughs> Just without a shadow of a doubt, we will have a national championship this year. Just go right down the barrel. We, Cal did it. it. If you guys can't do it, I mean, that's... No, it's kind of like you said. We have a very strong grit for number yeah. nine. Okay. There you go. Okay, dude. The political <laughs> answers. How, how long... Was everybody on the team media trained? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so basically, if they ask you a question, you don't say a thing, and then you go back to, like, our team is loves each other. It, it oftentimes ends up that way. Yeah. yeah, yeah, okay, okay. If you had to kick one player off the team, it would have been. <laughs> <laughs> Are you guys pretty well versed in um, uh, Kentucky, like, bat- past players in the Cal era? Okay, yeah. Yeah, the like NBA? Okay, okay, I want you guys to do, so this is what we're going to do. We're going to do uh, a draft. Okay. We're going to do five players. You guys, one, 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 and then I'm going to pick which team would win. Okay. Uh, they can be, Yeah. Players that played, NBA, whatever it is. And we'll do all of them at their prime. I think that's the most fun. Okay, that's what I was about to ask. Yeah, okay. okay. Right. Uh, who wants, does anybody want to go first? Okay. Yeah, uh, you can take first pick. First pick, Carl Towns. Interesting pick. Interesting, interesting pick. I love, I love Cap, but not who I would have gone for. Uh, we go, hold on, are we doing college prime? No, 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 no. Oh, just any, prime. any prime. Okay. You already made your pick, though. So. Yeah. All right, that's fine. Uh, no, that's fine. I'm going to counter with another big. I'll, I'll take uh, AD. I'll yeah. stick with it. That makes sense. Which I think was the right number one. I, th- I think that's so, who I'd go number one. Yeah. Okay. Right. Who's your number two pick? Devin Booker. It's a good pick. It's okay. Right, it's the right second pick. It's where I wanted to go. It's the direction I wanted to head. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to go, if we're doing prime, I'm going to go John Wall. That was my second pick. I need a point guard. Eric Bledsoe. Okay. I want to take a two guard, but there's a couple options. I don't want to waste one. I think you might take one. I'll be fine with the other. So I'm going to go prime. I'm going to go Julius Randle. Like okay. Most improved year, though. Okay. You know, so Good. a couple years ago when he was really hooping. Pretty disrespectful to Shea Gilchrist Alexander so far, but keep going. Yeah, but there's somebody else I just thought of that I wanted to. Go so, ahead, take him. You know what? You won't think of him. Shea, I'll take Shea. Oh, that's, that's, my, okay. I feel like that well, was no, stolen. That's your pick. That's yeah. your pick. Yeah, I'll give okay. You that. Okay. I'm going to go Jamal Murray. Fantastic pick. Okay, how many is that? I got four, right? I don't know. I like shooters. I'll go Tyler Hero. <sighs> my next one. Yeah, there, okay. okay. there you go. I'm going to take another shooter. Throw, throw a name out. That was a good call. Um, who do you need? Who, what what need position? Three, but I would take like a two that could slide yeah. into three. I might slide because you have John Wall already. I got John Wall. I wouldn't mind. I wouldn't mind pairing him honestly with De'Aaron Fox. That'd be a fast That's break. Honestly, a yeah. fast, fast break. You got, fast. you got John Wall and De'Aaron Fox. I know. I don't know. It's a hilariously know. fast break. The other direction I'm thinking is is another shooter and go Malik Monk. He's he's been playing well. I'm gonna take shooting over speed. I'm gonna I'm gonna take him. So run run down your team really quick, Walker. I was John Wall, Jamal Murray, Malik Monk, Julius Randle, and Anthony Davis. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right, Grant. You can go, but that might be wraps. Go ahead. Why, why you got to go ahead? Why you got to do that? 
Go ahead. You do this all the time. Go ahead. Why you gotta do this? All right. Towns. Shoot, I don't even remember. Bledsoe. Hero. I had the other Shay. shooter. Shay. I don't even remember who my other team was. You know, I'm gonna go with one. you because you only have four players. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Thomas Booker, by the way. That's what I was forgetting. Oh yeah, that's a great pick. I'm gonna go with his. <laughs> Appreciate that. Um, I don't know if this is too soon, but I love you boys more than I love myself. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching Dropouts Podcast. Where can people find you? Instagram, Twitter. Perfect. Yeah. yeah. Perfect. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to go uh, with the tag, Walker Horde underscore. Yeah. But I'm also on Grant Instagram. Grant underscore D underscore 13. And then Grant Darbyshire for Twitter. Okay. No one knows yeah. what your last name is. <laughs> it's really tough. It's fine. Yeah. Every time they announce it over the intercom, I was like, what did they say? Never heard it announced over <laughs> Me intercom, either. So but I made no, you feel good, crazy. didn't I? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. It did. It did. No, this was fun. Thank you, guys. Thank you guys so much. If you stayed till the end, make sure to send me a picture of your favorite Kentucky player or play or whatever. That way I know you stayed till the end. And I know this was a little bit different than our normal podcast, but Kentucky basketball, um, I love more than I could ever love Jared. So this was fun. Thank you guys for sticking around for the ride. And uh, more Dropouts next week.